Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Jerm here. As you guys can see up on the screen today, I want to talk a little bit about Cassava Sciences Incorporated. Now, this is not a company that uh, maybe I'd heard of like once or twice before today, but not a company that I've ever followed super closely, not a company that um, you know I've ever been all that concerned about. Obviously, it's a biotech stock, and that's not really my area of expertise. That's not really um, you know the companies that I choose to research a ton or spend my time with too much. Um, you know, they're sitting at a $2 billion market cap, so they're not... Uh, one of these insanely, insanely tiny biotech stocks, you know, because you can find a ton of those out there. They're a little bit bigger, a little bit more established, but in the grand scheme of things, still a pretty small, pretty volatile stock. Um, you know, they've been doing pretty well, honestly, year to date. They're up 10% in 2022, which is a lot better than most stocks on the market can say up until this point. Um, but again, I don't want to talk about it because of anything that I'm saying or that I think or that I've, um, you know, necessarily come up with about the stock. The reason I want to talk about this one is this post uh, to Wall Street Bets a couple hours ago that um, has kind of been circulating. I, I think it's kind of not popped off as much because uh, Reddit was like down for a little bit and they're having all these issues and stuff but now it seems like things are back up and running and this is uh the according to them at least the largest bet in wall street bets history uh ticker symbol s-a-v-a -A. again that's for uh, obviously cassava scientists incorporating and see here s-a-v-a -A. uh and then they go into depth it is a very very long and detailed post we're not going to go over the whole thing but i did kind of want to give uh you know some thoughts and opinions about it and just go over it make you guys aware of it because this potentially in the coming weeks could be a very very big big story so definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy it i would appreciate it so so much uh and subscribe to save today and all my latest content with that being said let's get right into this so First up, uh, the biggest thing is that, you know, obviously when people see anything like this, especially on Wall Street bets and, um, you know, there's people shilling for stocks and everything like that, there's always going to be accusations of, uh, pump and dumps or, you know, shilling or, you know, trying to unload their bags and all that stuff. Uh, and that's absolutely there in this thread. And I think that's kind of interesting. This guy's name is internal ad 1091. Uh, and you know, his, what does it say? Savage. His name is Sava Savage. Um, I, you know, so there is a lot of things pointing in the direction of, Hey, is this some kind of pump and dump? Is this a guy unloading his bags? Is this a guy, um, you know, just doing some marketing for the stock and stuff like that? I don't know. Obviously, I'm not saying that, but um, he doesn't make it like he doesn't make a good case for those accusi accusations uh, not to come out. I, I will say that at least, which is kind of funny. Um, but what they do say here is, uh, it's like a group of people, uh, all opinions expressed in this post are our own. The statements do not constitute, constitute, I don't know why I can't talk, financial or medical advice, and please do your own DD. The post will be updated every three months with position information and updated due diligence. Please follow this post. shall remain exclusive to Wall Street Vets. Please do not repost. And it's like, I don't know if you know how this works. I don't really think you can just say... Uh, uh, this post is going to be exclusive to Wall Street Bet. Like, I, I don't think that that's how that works, but hey, good luck to them. Um, welcome to the internet. Welcome to Reddit, you know, whatever. Um, but it's kind of interesting. And, you know, they're saying they're going to follow this on a three-month basis. You know, they're, they're trying to to do along the lines of obviously, you know, Roaring Kitty, Wall Street Bets, that type of thing, making a big bet, uh, tracking it over a long period of time. They're trying to make a name for themselves. They're trying to garner some popularity. Um, and, hey, it might work. It might be interesting. You know, either way, whether this goes really, really well or really, really Poorly, it's going to be hilarious. It's going to be a meme, and it's going to be something that people are talking about. Now, um, you know, we'll have to see how this works out for them. But they did post. Uh, you know, obviously they have their thirty million dollars in shares. They have it at a market price of forty nine eight. Um, which right now we're at 5305. So, hey, they're up a little bit. They're doing pretty good. Uh, so far, so good. Things are going well for them. And, and it's crazy because, you know, just going from 49 to 53, when you got $30 million in, you've made a damn load of money right there. Uh, obviously, they have their quantity of 604,000 shares. Then they go into, you know, posting all of their orders, uh, which date back to, it looks like September of 2021. I don't think it was really necessary to post all the orders. You know, they kind of posted the overview at the top, but, uh, you know, that's there. Um, they also show uh, how, you know, they they have the mean ADAS COG scores over time for um, Sava and some of the competitors. And you'll see that, hey, Sava is really standing out here. They're the red line. They're on top. But, uh, and, and here's the TLDR, the graph above represents Sava's data and other uh, lines represent competition and placebo. Uh, Sava's cognitive data is not only far superior to the competition, but it is the only drug that shows cognitive improvement on ADAS COG in a US-based trial. This research report explores why this data is worth over $100 billion. Um, so, you know, you see that at least according to them and, and whatever uh, kind of research they are citing that, hey, Sava far outperforms the competition, far outperforms the placebos. Um, but 
but when you look at market capitalization sava is sitting at around a 2 billion and some of these other companies are you know way up here 12 17 15 14 and what they say is the other bars don't even represent the competition market caps they illustrate how much the market cap increased around announcing fda uh, accelerated approval or breakthrough therapy designation for an alzheimer's drug which I think is a really stupid way to show this data, uh, you know, a very, very kind of um, misrepresented graph, kind of weird there. I, I don't really love how they chose to represent the data. You know, they, they understood that it was even going to be confusing and weird, and that's why they had to explain it below. Um, but yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, that's kind of their big point is that, hey, Sava outperforms the competition yet uh you know its market cap is way 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 undervalued um and you know they post a bunch of research and stuff what is funny is this is one of the most memeable parts of the whole thing and this is where really people have started to make fun of them a lot is saying before we discuss sava in depth over the following 50 pages and you know that's the other thing where people are like okay you just posted 50 pages of dd onto wall street bets like who the heck is gonna read that why would they read that that's doing way too much you know like there's no way this needed to be 50 pages long like you're, you're wasting your time you're you're posting to a bunch of people who want to read like three sentences not uh 50 pages it's super super funny kind of like very self unaware um you know it just it reads like they're not people from the wall street bets community it reads like they're not people from reddit it reads like they're not even people from you know the internet uh and they're just super 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 outsiders which is why i think a lot of people you know are, are kind of roasting them pretty hard at this point but anyway Anyway, uh, you know, they have 50 pages and why the market values it so wildly. I would like to introduce you to the team of physicians, pharmacologists, PhDs, and successful investors who wrote and edited this due diligence post. And then they go on to post like pictures of themselves and the selfies and stuff. And like, this is for sure the weirdest part of this all. And like some of these pictures, like this is like a picture somebody took on their phone of a computer screen or something and then uploaded, you know, like they couldn't get anything better. Um, this picture is so tiny and weird. Like, what is this? Um, I don't know. Just all these pictures are just a huge, huge, huge meme, but Hey, they wanted to put a face to their research, to their DD. Uh, they say, you know, it adds some legitimacy and stuff to it. And, and you know, to an extent I do agree, but like, come on, this is, this was not the best way to do this. This is very, very memeable. This is very, very hilarious. But then they go into all their points, um, you know, talking about how cassava is the future of Alzheimer's disease medicine, um, how they're going to alter Alzheimer's progression and improving the lives of a million Alzheimer's disease patients and their families. Um, they talk about the market opportunity, the future trillion dollar Alzheimer's disease ecosystem that obviously they believe Sava will be able to, you know, eat up a big chunk of. They talk about the science, the research, the data, um, cognition data showing incredible improvement in Alzheimer's disease patients. Um, and like I said, you know, you're just scrolling forever and ever and ever. Why the data is so unique in both biomarkers and cognitive data. You know, if you guys are interested in this, definitely go check out the whole thing if you do want. But again, I don't think very many people are going to do that. Uh, and the comments have just been absolutely hilarious. You know, I was clicking through a bunch of these earlier. Um, and then, you know, people saying, imagine working for Sava and seeing your fucking face on Wall Street Bets, which is hilarious. Uh, shit took days to scroll through the comment section. Um, like anyone read that, let alone understood any of that, please repost as a meme. And it's super super funny and you know then again there is a ton of people accusing them of hey pump and dumping shilling advertising for sava again the, the guy's name is sava sava savage on here his name is internal ad 1091 apparently they have a lot of other posts just kind of shilling sava all over the place super super weird super super strange but again at the end of the day wall street bets is all about making those big bets taking those big risks and then you know either posting those gains or posting those losses. So it's going to be very, very curious and interesting to see how this goes, um, you know, over the next couple of months. Is this going to be another Wall Street bets uh, GameStop type success? Is this going to be something that falls flat on its face? Are these faces going to become, um, you know, the next superstars of the investing market and the investing scene? Or are they going to become, uh, you know, the next Wall Street bets meme? I don't know, but this is going to be very, very funny and interesting to follow. Uh, and I guess now, Hey, I got a new stock SAVA to put on my watch list, but that is pretty much it for this video today, guys. Somebody drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate it so, so much. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about Sava or the biggest bet in Wall Street Bets history. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe, stay up to date, and I'm going to let this content. I hope I catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.